Hey, welcome to Cake Poppin'. Today's theme is Super Bowl and we're going to make cute little footballs. Okay, so first you need light cocoa candy melts and then you're gonna need the white candy melt. A large saucer, a wide opening with the candy melts in it so you can dip easily. You need this fork, a spoon, a spatula, candy decorating bags, they're disposable from Wilton. Here's a box. And then last but not least, you're going to need your cake balls already made. And you notice I didn't have the sticks, it's because I'm actually gonna make truffles out of them, and I'll show you in a minute. You're going to take your candy melts and heat it up until it's melted. I would do about 30 to 40 seconds at a time. Okay, so as you can see, I'm stirring it, it's melting. If it's not melted on the way, put it back in the microwave for an extra 10 to 15 seconds increments. I sometimes add a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil or Crisco just to make it a little bit more flowy. As you can see, it's not pouring the way I want to. So I would add a little bit of vegetable oil in here. Okay, so as you can see, this is the consistency that I want it to be. It's pouring really nicely. And another trick that I've learned is you can put boiling water in another cup. And you can sit your candy melt on top of it so it can keep the same consistency that you want. Okay, so you want to take your cake balls. In this case, I've actually made it with brownies with cream cheese frosting, but you can also do it with chocolate cake or any cake of your choice. You take the round cake balls, you want to take it, and you want to mold with your finger slowly. Make sure it doesn't crack. It's very tricky. Little cracks are okay because you're going to go ahead and um, cover it with the candy mold. Candy melt, I'm sorry. So here's one. And here's another one. Okay, so you want to take your spatula out, take the big spoon and your fork, place the molded little footballs on the fork. Make sure it's on the tip so you want the candy melts to go through the holes here. Okay, place it over your candy melts. You might want to tip it a little bit. Take a spoonful and pour right on top over the whole entire thing. And then you want to take your fork with your little football and then just tap a little. You can see that the candy melt is falling right through the fork. You can double dip this or just let it dry but I wouldn't double drip just because it's a brown candy melt and you really can't see the cake under and that's what you actually really want. You don't want to see the cake after you've already poured the candy melt on it. Then you want to set it using your spatula, slowly slide the little football on your parchment paper or your wax paper and boom, there you go. Okay, as you can see, the chocolate have already hardened and I've put it on a plate and I also have the white candy mold here, melted in the candy bag. And I have a wax paper here just to practice on because it can get a little tricky to pipe the design of the football on. So it's good for you to just practice the lines, okay? And I have this cupcake little uh, paper holders that I'm gonna put the footballs in. Of course, you can pick your colors according to the theme that you like. I've also made one pink one just for us girls. So let's go ahead and start piping this on.
See, like I said, it can get really tricky here. Practice makes perfect, of course. Draw little lines on the side. On the other side, and you're almost done. Then you want to take it and put it in your little holder here. And voila!